What is bacteria in blood? If you've ever wondered what happens when bacteria find their way into your bloodstream, you're about to get some important answers. Let's break it down. Normally, your blood is sterile, meaning it doesn't have any bacteria or other germs. However, there are several ways bacteria can enter your blood. This condition is called bacteremia. Bacteremia occurs when bacteria, which are tiny single-celled organisms, manage to get into your bloodstream. This can happen through various means, such as skin wounds, medical procedures, or even something as simple as brushing or flossing your teeth too hard. When bacteria enter your blood, they can cause a range of reactions. In healthy people, the immune system often clears out these bacteria quickly, and you might not even notice anything is wrong. This is known as transient bacteremia, and it's usually harmless. However, if your immune system is weakened, or if the bacteria are particularly aggressive, things can get serious. Bacteria can spread through the blood to other parts of the body, causing infections in places like the heart, bones, or brain. This is called hematogenous spread. There are different types of bacteremia based on the bacteria involved. For example, gram-positive bacteria like Staphylococcus aureus and Streptococcus pneumoniae can cause bacteremia. These bacteria are typically found on the skin or in the gastrointestinal tract. Gram-negative bacteria, such as E. coli and Pseudomonas aeruginosa, can also enter the bloodstream, often from infections in the respiratory, genitourinary, or gastrointestinal tracts. Certain groups of people are more at risk for developing bacteremia, including those with HIV, diabetes, or chronic conditions like liver failure or asplenia. Medical procedures, especially those involving catheters or surgical operations, can also increase the risk. Diagnosing bacteremia usually involves taking blood cultures. This means drawing blood from a vein and letting it incubate in a medium that helps bacteria grow. If bacteria are present, they will multiply and can be detected. To avoid contamination, the skin is cleaned thoroughly before drawing the blood. Symptoms of bacteremia can include fever, chills, and hypotension. In severe cases, it can lead to sepsis, a condition where the body's inflammatory response to the infection causes widespread damage and can be life-threatening. Treatment for bacteremia typically involves antibiotics, which work by destroying the bacteria's cell wall or DNA. Preventive measures, such as antibiotic prophylaxis, can be given in high-risk situations to avoid infections. In summary, bacteria in the blood, or bacteremia, is a serious condition where bacteria enter the bloodstream and can cause various infections. Understanding how it happens and how it's treated can help you stay safe and healthy.